We have a mystery right now because methane emissions in the atmosphere are suddenly increasing even faster than they were before, and we don't know why as scientists. And one possibility is that natural wetlands are getting warmer and wetter and emitting more methane. Our work area in the central Amazon of Brazil, where we're in this giant river floodplain that's 50 miles across in some places, and it all floods during the wet season. And it's extremely uncertain what's going on in all these places where there's basically like huge productivity and huge decomposition every year. Unfortunately, right now we have pretty sparse measurements in the tropics. That was kind of the motivation and starting point for this work to, to try to think about more low cost ways that we could um, improve our measurements of methane from these tropical wetlands. My group researches sensor technology within extreme environments. And when connecting with Allison on this program, thinking of humidity as an extreme. So we were really fascinated at the prospect of studying how humidity plus the gaseous content that we want to measure influence the behavior of the sensors. We need to take these sensors that are unstable in the environment and um, concentration range that we're working with and try to figure out like, how to make sense of that data. And if it works, then that means we'll have like low cost sensors available. I'm most excited to see what happens with these tools like once it's in other people's hands. That's hopefully the legacy of this project is that we empower the people who actually live and research there to make better decisions about how they manage their own land.